welcome to news click today we have here karnanidhi ji general secretary of ai obc so welcome to the interview so you have mentioned about the work of ai obc regarding the central education act in 2006 which mandated the reservation policy in the central education institute like central universities iits etc so it's about like 15 years since that was passed and the reservation norms extended extended to these institution but like the data from iits which we have collected through rtis which shows a denial of social justice to this oppressed class like sc st and obcs and many of the students were not admitted in the reserved categories in phd programs as well as other mtech and ms programs so the higher education there is like an exclusion to these communities even after there is a legislation which uh, which intended to give them the benefits of edu- higher education in these institutes so what is your take on this like how can we improve the policy of reservation institutions like iits iims and other central universities i am very happy to share some of the views with the news click and uh, as uh, the uh, as per as per your question uh, let me take it like this that um, what will what is well be, what will be the position of the higher education after this introduction of the national uh, new education policy 2020 okay. because at yeah. present you were telling about the effect of central education institution act that uh, enables the government to provide 27% reservation for the obcs but the data you have also collected from rti and also it has come in the, uh, in the media also and also the parliament the honorable minister has also uh, given the data to the members of the parliament so i have had, uh, some data which i want to share with the um, media through you Uh, as per the data provided in uh, uh, last year in uh, nearly iims 18 iims there are total 8 784 faculty positions and obc are just 27 27 members only for faculty only that is 3.44% out of uh, 784 positions similarly in iit 23 iits are there they have given that nearly 8856 faculty positions are there but the obcs are just 329 that is 3.71 sc is also just 1.68 149 and st is are just 0.23% in iit in iim sc is are just 8 1% only that is eight faculties are there in the total faculty positions and st is are just two so this is the position of the iit and iim in this country uh, given by the government similarly the uh, central government runs uh, nearly 41 central universities where the data speaks like this that out of 1125 professors the representation of obc is zero sc is uh, 39 that is 3.4% and sts are 8 that is 0.7% similarly associate professors the next level 2624 professor associate professor post are there where the obcs are zero and uh, scheduled caste uh, uh, professors are 130 that is 4.9% that is 5% and sts are 34 that is 1.3% this is the effect of this uh, reservation policy adopted by this um, central universities and iits and iims and uh, this speaks very much on various uh, areas not only um, we are concerned with the mere representation of the faculties in the uh, this top uh, schools of excellence but it has a devastating effect on the students who join in these institutions who belong to the sc st obc how they have been they have been treated inside the campus that also speaks about that so that is why we see the suicidal deaths of fatima and other people and other uh, suicides are happening uh, saravanan in uh, aims like that uh, muttakrishnan like that and uh, rohit tirumala all these uh, suicidal deaths are all because of this overall effect of this um, representation of uh, these dominant groups uh, of a particular community 
in iit iim and this uh, central universities that makes these deprived sections totally vulnerable they feel that they, they don't have any um, persons to guide them also so uh, these are all the things that makes them to go out of the institution so the number of dropouts are also increasing and um, uh, they are uh, very much uh, harassed and uh, you, you you'll be uh, i think uh, you'll remember what this uh, our ugc earlier chairman sukhdev darat he have uh, investigated this kind of harassment in aims delhi and uh, he has given a report that speaks volume of it uh, so the overall representation in faculty position is very much important but the uh, powers that be at the center are determined are very much determined that this kind of dominance should not be uh, given up so they don't want to implement reservation for which they create lot of hurdles in the meantime some allahabad high court gave a ruling that the recruitment should be uh, done on the basis of department wise uh, vacancies instead of university as a whole that created a lot of issue thereafter after some agitations uh, from delhi university and other people then it was reversed so like that every time when the faculty positions are being recruited lot of problems are created and our obc or sc st or even minorities they are not taken inside the campus so this is the position of the um, uh, this kind of um, institutions as of today so what is going to happen after this introduction of national education policy is this will go further and deteriorate i don't think so uh, yeah, the further improvement may happen because of the policy because the policy is not at all aimed at uh, giving a representation to all these people the policy the uh, new education policy has not speak on, uh, spoken about reservation at all in the entire policy of 63 pages if you go through that there is no word like that reservation policy they have totally avoided mentioning that instead of that they say that socio economic disadvantaged groups so this is what is the government's aim so they want to create a situation where the concept of social justice is totally removed and they want to make it as an economic factor and thereby even the scholarship of our obc or sc st there is no mention about the scholarship they speak about merit scholarship so merit scholarship is based on mass not on the based on there is community different communities so totally the whole concept of reservation policy is totally removed from this education policy naturally it will have its own effect i don't think further improvement i think will be will be having a very tougher days ahead to ensure this implementation of the even the existing reservation policy